quiet From midnight to morning, I'm burning my oil The track is titanium, I'll make it bend like a aluminum foil I'm licking the sun every song when I'm featuring my Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Mike, and today I'm going to review Avengers Endgame um, Great movie, for to say that um, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10 Um great movie the only thing that i can probably complain that i can probably complain about it but it's really nitpicking is that i wish they would have showed um more of the scenes um i'm not going when they was trying to uh, when they was trying to um do the plan i wish they would i wish they would elaborate more on those scenes but if they did the movie would have been four hours long but because the movie was already long um again um this is my non-spoiler review so it's safe to watch but if if you are if you people that haven't seen the movie don't read the comic session and please um people that have seen the movie um try not to spoil the movie so so it'll give people that haven't seen the movie a chance to watch the movie and then tomorrow which i'm going to do a random talk and i will spoil the movie oh i did see um shazam and i got a lot of talk about in the random talk so i'm probably going to spoil um end games in that and yeah so yeah about end game stuff that i like um every character got to shine to Iron Man, to um, Rocket, Thor, um, Captain Marvel, she had great scenes. Everybody had great scenes, and they chance to shine. That it was a lot of character development in the movie. Um, it was great. If they and the ending was great too. If they this is the end of um, Phase One, Phase Two, Phase Three. It's pretty much set enough for Thanos, which I believe is I believe they calling it the Thanos saga or the Infinity Saga. Would take your pick. Um, this if if they were ended if they were ended on this movie, um, what a great ending. But we all know that there is movies. We got Spider Man coming out and a whole a, a whole lot of movies coming out. So yeah, um. Um, we just, I don't know who's the next villain. Maybe it might be Galactus. Um, it might be Galactus. I, like, it was great. And if you guys read the comic, I mean the comics, um, a lot of incredible references to the comics, Easter eggs, um, with the Hulk, um, and all those other characters. It was funny. Like, I, I was entertained. I was not bored at all watching the movie overall a great movie and and like i said in the beginning if i were to nitpick i wish they would elaborate on um the scene i don't want to spoil what happened because it was pretty it was pretty major but i'm not um and people complained that the movie was too long i mean what do you expect um and uh, people talk about will there be where they stop the movie and give people a bathroom break, and I'm just thinking like y'all haven't sat, <laughs> y'all haven't sat and watched a three hour movie like Lord of the Rings. Um, Titanic was pretty long. Um, it, it's a whole bunch of other movies that were long. Um, but let's talk about more about this movie. Um, also, uh, the first act. Um, it was very dark. It was post. It was kind of like a post-apocalyptic um, vibe to it, where because you know Daniel Snap and half half of all life is um, destroyed, is killed, and you really got that feel and the atmosphere, the atmospheric feel of the movie, and um, it was pretty dark in the first act. It kind of reminds me of the movie Left Behind. Um, Left Behind is a movie about the rapture and revelations. Well, pretty much the end time, the end of times where uh, I don't want to get too religious, but pretty much the, the rapture is when Jesus comes back and takes the church. 
that's pretty much what the rapture is and the people that's not worthy and all that won't be getting into heaven so that's pretty much what that movie was about it kind of got it kind of got that feel to it um for for the um people are just gone it kind of had that feeling they vanish and and i like how they played upon that with characters um of how they react to how they reacted to like these events to the to the um snap and um Scott Lang Ant Man was incredible. Um every character was incredible in this movie. Um like not one character was pretty much not one character was really useless in this movie. Every character had they shine time to shine. Iron Man like I say Iron Man Hawk. Hawk was very funny in the movie. Um yeah, great movie overall. Um, the middle of the movie, it was a lot going on. Pretty much the action, a lot going on, but great moments. Every, it was it, it was a lot of great moments. Probably one of this is probably um the best um MCU movie. You can make that argument. Um, I I still like Civil War. Civil War, Winter Soldier were. Probably some of my favorite um, MCU movies, but this one is up there. Um, I want to do it in the future. I'm probably going to do a video where I recap Phase One, Phase Two, and Phase Three of the of the um, of the event of all the MCU movies, and then talk about End Games and give you my predictions of what they might do next. Like I said, uh, I I think. Um, well, we, they have, oh, for people that don't know, they have not did anything with, um, Mar with the X-Men and the, um, Fantastic Four in this movie, so, yeah, <laughs> I'll be, if they did, I would have been like Dave Meltzer and gave this movie 11, 12, like 100 stars or something, <laughs> Dave Meltzer probably won't give this movie, um, a hundred, uh, like, oh, like that, uh, like break the set, break the ranking because the movie wasn't in Japan, but it had scenes that were in Japan. <laughs> I'm talking about wrestling. The um overall great movie. <laughs> Let me end this movie before I start talking about something else. But yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I'm going to do a random talk tomorrow, and I will spoil the movie. So, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. All-star. She say it ain't me, it's the God of me, yeah. Don't like what I say, then I'm following me, yeah.